Christian Summit, Christian Sullivan at the Internet Summit. I'm here with John Ficone, and I'm going to ask him a question. John, can you just give us a little information on what you feel are the top trends happening with consumers? I guess that uh, the number one trend in terms of behavior would have to be the growth of social networks um, and the emergence of Facebook as a dominant uh, social network on a global scale. So I think, as I said today, that uh, they got somewhere over 400 million unique visitors in a month, which means that if Facebook were a country, it would be the third largest country in the world after India and China. So that gives you a good idea of the scale. So social networks are booming. Video is booming. We've got three quarters of the online population is watching video now uh, in a month. And these trends are beginning to change the way that people spend time online. So the portals are actually beginning to see a drop in time spent. And one could argue that the social networks might be becoming the portal to the internet for a lot of internet users. And uh, maybe starting to eat into the use of uh, email and IM to a certain degree. Now all of that said, everybody uh, on the marketing side is trying to figure out how do I leverage the social networks and uh, how do I advertise through them. A lot of experimentation going on, but I don't think anybody's really cracked the code on the best way to do it. But a lot of money is being uh, being spent on it. Um, search continues to grow tremendously. 90% of the online population now searches in a month, and I think they make somewhere around 90 searches each on average. So that's booming. Google makes a fortune out of that, uh, which is great for them. Um, Underneath all of this is a consumer that, um, if you look at it in terms of the economy, is challenged. The consumer really doesn't seem to have any spending power. Uh, we're not seeing any growth at the moment in e-commerce. The government isn't seeing any growth in spending at retail. And the, comma is, uh, the, the consumer is weighed down by concerns about employment. They've got an unemployment rate of 10%. On top of that, 3% who have given up and not even counted in the number. 7% are working part-time and want to be employed full-time. So that's 20% of the U.S. population is employment challenged, if, uh, if you want to call it that. On top of that, we've got massive levels of debt that they're trying to pay down. They've got worries about home prices, mortgages uh, exceeding the value of the home. So there's tremendous pressure on the consumer, and it doesn't look like we're going to see real spending growth for a while yet, although a little sliver of hope is in the fourth quarter the comparisons against last year are a lot easier since we had such a bad uh, quarter. So I expect that we'll see maybe, maybe between uh, 1 and 5 percent growth in e-commerce this holiday season. But um, if you take out the economic issues, um, the internet is really turning out to be a force to be reckoned with as a medium. Great. Thank you so much, Jan. This is Jim Pogoni at the Internet Summit here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm Christian Sullivan.